Oh my god, hey, welcome back to my theatre-themed YouTube channel. My name is Mickey Joe, and I'm obsessed with all things theatre. And today, we together are going to be listening to and reacting to the brand new cast recording of <gasps> Sunset Boulevard. It's happened, everyone. It's finally happened. Lots of Sunset Boulevard news this week. It has just opened in New York. We have talked through all of the reviews. If you have no idea what this musical is, what this production is, the circumstances behind all of this, it has been highly talked about recently. This is an Angela Lloyd Webber, Christopher Hampton, and Don Black musical from the 1990s based on a classic piece of cinema by Billy Wilder about the characters of Norma Desmond and Joe Gillis. He is a screenwriter struggling to get by in challenging Hollywood, and she's a lunatic. Um, and this, in particular, is a bold new production that opened in the West End last year at the Savoy Theatre, directed by visionary, genius, maverick, whatever you want to call him, director Jamie Lloyd. Uh, it was at the Savoy. It starred Nicole Scherzinger uh, of the Pussycat Dolls and rising star Tom Francis as Joe Gillis. They both won Olivier's, so did the show. Uh, it was quite brief in the West End, but it announced it would transfer to Broadway, where it has recently opened at the St. James Theatre. The cast recording is from the London production, but they have been delaying its release uh, to cover inside with the marketing machine for Broadway because it's playing for a considerably longer stint over there. It hopes to win big at the Tony Awards. Will it? We'll have to wait and find out and you'll have to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my coverage of those coming next year. But if you want to find out more about Sunset Boulevard, about its Broadway run, about some early controversy to do with something crazy they do on the street, um, about its recent reviews, about what I thought of the show in the West End, I have made several videos already here on my channel. Just search Mickey Joe Theatre, Sunset Boulevard, and you will find them all. Today, I don't want to spend any more time talking about it. We have a cast recording to listen to, and it's about two hours long, so we are going to embark on this. Now, before I begin, I will stress, if you haven't seen one of my reaction videos before, this is going to be me reacting to uh, the cast recording for the very first time. I have not listened to this yet. I am going to be uh, reacting. I am going to be talking about it. I may sing along if I feel so inclined. This is not the ideal way for you to hear the cast recording for the first time. So if you want to react to it, rather than commenting down below with stop talking over the thing, just go listen to it for yourself. I'd assumed that was obvious, but I like to remind you anyway. Um, and if you want to hear me react to the whole thing unedited, then that is available for channel members. Click on the link in the top of this video's description, sign up to become a channel member, and then you will hopefully find the full unedited two hour plus video of me reacting to this. My goodness, it's already late where I am here right now. This is this is going to be the whole rest of my day. But I can't complain because what? I love musical theatre. Let's do this. Okay. Strings. Oh, it's lush. It's full. Was Alan Williams the musical director? He was the conductor, I believe. I think he was the musical director. It's romantic music, but it's sinister. This is, of course, Angelo Weber composition. That's also a bit of Eater-esque. And that's very Phantom. I always think that reminds me of, like, Simon, the music starts to fall. Ah, you could dance to this at a wedding, if it was also a funeral. I do love this. Lovely bit of flute. Haunting. Spooky. Noir. Mystery. Adjectives. Tom Francis. A homicide had been reported. Maybe the biggest star of all. Establishing her immediately. He is telling the story. He is our narrator, but clear to us that she is our central interest. Da, 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 da. There's something going on here. I'll deal with you later. Love never dies. Jazz. I had a contract down at Fox, but I he's a Hollywood screenwriter. Daryl is um he's the guy from the song in Smash. Zanuck? Daryl Zanuck? That surprisingly is important exposition. So much of this show and its narrative hinges on uh, the fact that LA is not walkable. Oh. Big jazz. I promise I'm doing a kick line under the under the desk. You just can't see. I'm already having a good time. The show is mostly sung through. That's why the cast recording is so long. Trademark Angela Weber. Uh, fun, crazy time signatures. You've told us that already, Myron. Myron feels very self-involved. This is the car stuff back again. I've had this in my head for a week. I loaned them to my accountant. Ah, oh, this music. Let's do lunch, gotta run. 
These people eat a lot of lunch. What I need is 300 bucks. Don't we all? This is Ahmed. A little bit of a change in melody. They have a slightly more substantial friendship. All the rest of them are a bit more superficial. He's telling lies. <gasps> it's Betty. Betty's here, everyone. He can hear you, Betty. Now it's just cacophony. Okay, one person talk at a time. What if we made a support group? This is what you need a WhatsApp chat if ever I have heard one. This is just take a breath. Hear each other. You're not hearing each other. Oh, now I want lunch. A basic lyric, but a good one. Oh, new melody. I assume you're going to hear all of these melodies at least once more again. It was dark windows. It's dark windows. Windows 95? Rear windows. Stained glass windows. Like an egg. Like a hard-boiled egg. Silence. That was coy. My shoulders do this for the entire cast recording. I'm going to get some sort of repetitive strain injury. Those guys were after my car. If I lose it in this town, it's like having my legs cut off. This is what I'm saying. Okay, imagine a car chase. Hey, you know what, while we're here, imagine a giant screen behind me. I should have rigged up a projector or something. With a feed of my own face behind me. That's why Nathan, Amzi, and Joe Ransom are winning awards for video design and I'm not. I'm driving in high concept traffic. I'm applying high concept brakes. The theme. The theme to end all themes. This makes your blood rush. If you say it doesn't, you're lying. This sounds like cats. In the garden of some big I forget what's actually happened here geographically. So floating, gentle. Did he crash into did he drive into her garden? Get ready for Norma. You I can't there. play the violin. <gasps> Why are you so late? This way. Late. He's arrived at a monkey hey, funeral. Wait a That's not a euphemism. Against burying him in the garden? Good question. Hold on, they have a monkey. We can do this properly. It's a very serious business, don't laugh. Your film is coming out next month. You're gonna hear that melody like five more times. Fascinating choice for her to enter musically with a whisper. She's gonna shout in a minute. She's not really been awakened. She's in this trance-like fugue state, perhaps. But it's the recognition that is gonna there trigger her. Shrouded in a shawl. I don't have a shawl. I'm so sorry. This is a low-budget production. Sad. Chimp. The word is chimp. 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 Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Who Here shall we go. I call my servant? Oh, it would go so much better if you didn't say this. Aren't you Norma Desmond? Nope. Nah, uh, he ruined it. You used to be big. Here comes the line. I am big. Very breathy. It's the pictures that got small. Here we go. Once upon a time, not long ago, the head of any studio. You oh. know how and when to play his face. Wham! I love it. We had faces. Oh, it's so extra. Every word. It's Barbara-esque, really. Trampled on. Delicate when she wants to be. With a power she can unleash at any moment. It's thrilling. I'm just a writer. Again, I wish you hadn't said that. That's really any other trade. Listen to this. I can break your How has this woman not been doing musical theatre all her life with that voice? Every time we keep going back to the delicate, she's like leaning into it and then pulling back. The orchestrations underneath are gorgeous. Love. She loves an L. Very Barbara-like. This, if you, if you haven't picked up on him. She's not a fan of these new talking pictures that kind of did away with her career. It's like a really sad, traumatized version of Singing in the Rain. I love that lyric. It's like Gandhi, but different. Where are they? They did rhyme in the dark within the dark. I'm at peace with that. Oh, this is where there used to be a horrible downward modulation. Only Patti Lapone did it without. They put it in for Glenn Close. And this is the first time I think anyone's ever taken it out again. Stay in that key. I gasped when she did this in the theatre. Ignite it.
Wipeout. Oh, it's the live recording. It's the live recording. They faded out that applause. It lasted longer. Did you say you were right? Oh, see, I told you. It's not a comeback. It's a return. A return. What is the Fair difference? Enough. You shouldn't let another writer read your stuff. You may steal it. I don't think that's going to be a problem. And I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid bring of something to drink. Copyright. Yeah. Down. That's very Carmen Gia coded from the producers. This is unhinged. This is the most unhinged. I feel like I need a doll to excuse me. This is not an appropriate choice, is it? A boiling cauldron of love and hate. She dances the dance of the seven nights. Yep, well. Cartwheel. Cartwheel. She does the splits at this point. I'm gonna Fine. Wow. She's fine. I find this very disjointed musically to listen to. I can never really get into it as an isolated song. And I guess it's a reflection of the script. Like if this were to be a beautiful song, it would suggest to the audience something other than how awful the script is meant to be. It's a great screenplay. Nice note though. Just how old is Salome? 16. Bold question. See, everyone's like, Scherzinger's is too young for the show to work. That gets a laugh. If that didn't get a laugh, that would be the problem. But it gets a laugh. This is crazy close up. Are you marrying Mr. Oh, Joe. Her name is Gillis. Tell her you're gay. She'd have believed it. Your hair is too nice. I made the bed up this afternoon. Thanks. Why? Did he know this would happen? Was How he expecting? How did you know I was going to stay? Exactly. Exactly. Think about it, Joe. You're a screenwriter. Has this happened before? Is that what is that what that is meant to imply? How many young screenwriters drive into the garden? How often? <laughs> Here's the thing, this is Olivier Award winner David Thaxton. I think his is this wonderful, subtle performance that is underrated. We need to be talking about Thax. I love the way he snarls through a consonant. A Maharaja. That's kind of messed up, actually. He's giving big Mrs. Danvers from Rebecca energy, I'll be honest. She's invincible. Very phantom. Very phantom, because that note, the first time we heard it was soft. Like, spirits start to soar versus where you want to be. Softly. In one breath, in one breath, did you hear that? David Thaxton, what are your lungs? Clap for that man. Why aren't they clapping? <laughs> Bit late in the day, if I may say so, Savoy Theatre. The chimp's last rites. I don't know how you do last rites. Specifically for a chimp. This has taken a dark turn, I'm just gonna... It does have this cinematic quality to the score, necessarily. He's telling it as if it's a movie, because that's how he tells stories, and she's stuck living in a movie. Back to jazz. Okay. This is the fun levity we've been needing. This pierces through. And that's important, because we have to break away from that world. That's, that's important. That's about sexual favours in Hollywood. Unless you say yes when you want to say no, that's what that means. You later see that character making out with someone in, in the background, which I the first time was like, that's a cheap joke. It's not. It's meaningful. That nice piano in the background. They're just singing movies. And a new title, that's terrible. That's a safe beginning. I like it's this melody a lot. Da, 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 da. So romantic. This is how you know that there's a love blossoming. So Back phrase, lovely. Sorry, Miss Schaefer. Sorry, Miss Schaefer. I, I love that bit. Modulation. There's a rising energy in the room. You've got 60 pages. Is this a romantic comedy sure called Dark Windows? Fine. You should write from your experience. Give that's my that's my favorite bit of this melody. Da 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 da. da. And true means holes in your shoes. This is where you've lost me. This is a battle of writing something authentic in a script versus something commercial. Singing it. I'm not disillusioned. Not the way you are. Oh, she gagged him there a little bit. Never sell your soul. Okay, oh, listen to this. Never compromise integrity. Profoundly good advice for him right now. Yes, Mr. Gill. 
Oh, so flirty. Honestly, calling him Joe would be less seductive. If you want this job. See, Max is not crazy. Max sees everything that's happening here, and he knows his game, but he also knows who she is. I hacked my way oh, these the orchestration to rumbling like thunderclouds. She hovered there like a hawk. As soon as she is invoked in the lyric, the orchestrations change, the and it kind of invokes her, like Peter and the Wolf. I, made my first big mistake. I think your first big mistake was several scenes ago. The ordeal of Joan of Fuck! Lovely bit of, lovely bit of vibrato there, on one of the more dull parts of the score. Greatest star of all, yeah. You told us, no. It's around this part of the first act that I start to get a bit like, okay, yeah. That was important exposition though, because it told us all she does every night is watch her own films, and that's what everyone else has to do with her as well. New ways to dream, you'll be hearing that again. This is kind of a motif that becomes associated with um, the joy of her career and the good old days. Oh. She's reminding me of someone in that whispered tone. It's a bit Linda Edda, Jekyll and Hyde. It's also a bit Elaine Page, if I'm being completely honest. It's these kind of sections that get forgotten when people talk about her performance. Both the both the, the those praising and the naysayers. This is as much the brilliance of her as the more obvious stuff. Back to with one look. We're seeing her see herself now. It's one of the best uses of video in this production because we're seeing young Norma and, and current Norma cross-faded between each other. And we can see the youth and the naivety turn to this devastated nostalgia and longing for the past. It's heartbreaking. Do a shot every time she says, every time she says, Drink. It's the sunset mode of our drinking game, everybody. Oversized, like everything else in California. That's Texas. Everything's right bigger in Texas. This is the vocal fry moment I spoke about in the Today, review roundup. The day of Colossus conjunction. She's yes, uh, invoking the Kardashians, the I think. Take the car. Cars are very important in this show. You will find out so why. Gold -plated speaking tubes. And speaking tu what are speaking tubes? Um, what are speaking tubes? I'm going to Google speaking tubes. Packages for Packages. your job. Now she sounds like Moira mean? Rose from Shit's Creek. That's a Norma Desmond we need to see. Catherine O'Hara as Moira Rose, as Norma Desmond. Oh my gosh. Like that. I'm he, sorry. His clothes barely change, I'll be honest. I've he changes into a black suit I jacket. Should I change into a suit? I have a black suit jacket. I'm going to get changed. Excuse me. Let it never be said I don't commit to the bit in these videos. Absolutely divine. Well, thanks. thank you. To go for like a half sleeve thing. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit eighties. Ah, they're tangoing at this point. Ta -ta -ta. I literally can't do this dance by myself. It, it, it famously takes two. There are very few musical theater songs about New Year's Eve. No manic energy here, or at least no crazy scale to it. She's soft. She's a woman in love. She believes so, at least. Everything's going her way. She has a successful script and a man in his 20s. Is he singing to her, or are these reflective lyrics? I think he's, this is a monologue. He's singing to himself. There are several sort of turning point moments where he has just continued to go down this same road. Dancing. Dancing. Whee! Ah. Too fast, too fast, too fast. That's enough spinning. There's like a pop version of this song. Dina Carroll? Scherzinger's vocal sounds not unlike that. That placement of heart was gorgeous. Is it? She just breathes through it. The musicality of this woman. What time are they supposed to get here? Who? Oh, he still doesn't know. The other guests. Ah, that's the thing. You're gonna laugh. Just you. This is where you run. This is where you flee. This is where you're like, oh, serial killer. I mean, she's not. Unless, how did the chimp die? I'm just putting that out there. This is not one of my favorite melodies. Sure. 
Listen, some people would be happy to carry spears in this industry. When you've got a melody like that, there is no lyric you can write that fits naturally on da 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 Not one lyric sits correctly on this melody. The height of the phrase is not happening at the height of the melody. She sees you. She sees you. You remind me of me long ago. You say long ago. You mean like last week. Too many optimists sinking like stones. I love that bit of growl he puts in his voice. I love dark windows. Crazy modulation. But already this is a business thing. Is it? By this time next year, I will get my foot in the door. What is this musical style? Is this a bossa nova? Outside crowd is Chinese. I love that. Reference to the Chinese theatre. Lovely soprano line. Lovely. A lovely fulfilled chord. Good work, ensemble. You spend so much time off stage, but when you come on, you are on your game. No, they sung this in the US. Live fade, live fade, live fade. Do it again. She needs, okay, the woman needs mental health resources. No one is helping her in this situation. Like, Max is doing his best. Great star kills herself for unknown writer. I think, I think they'd come up with a snappier headline than that, I'll be honest. Oh, this is where they make out. Yeah. This is not going to help in the long run. I know you think you're doing a nice thing. I, you know, maybe his heart is even in the right place at this point. Why else would he have gone back? if he didn't care about her on some level, or he had just left all his worldly possessions in her home. They kiss. Happy New Year, darling. And that is act one. I've had an interval. I hope you have it as well, because if you're watching the unedited version of this, which as a reminder is available to channel members, click on the link. I hope that you've had an interval for yourself because this video, this is a lot. Uh, let's get on with act two, shall we? Ba, 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 ba. Back in with the maybe bossa nova of it all. Ah, I should explain, at this point, we are seeing Tom Francis backstage on the big the big screen and watching the film Sunset Boulevard, watching the same scene that just played out on stage, we can tell because it's subtitled. Hanging out, chatting to the ensemble members in the corridor, it's very breaking the fourth wall, it's very meta. That little bright bit always sounds very Christmassy to me. And then back to the with one look melody. Best melody in the show, if we're being completely honest. Oh, that modulation there. Glorious. I forget where he is at this point. He's passed Betty in the corridor, and she's gone like... He's gone into Norma's dressing room, she's wearing a turban. Very militaristic here. For no sort of a reason. And this is the moment, if you've been paying attention to this production, he goes outside and does something crazy. If you want to know more about it, I made a video about it recently. I mean... I don't know, I've already done the costume change. I kind of feel like... I ought to do something to pay tribute to how they realised this moment. Walk around my own flat, I don't know. Take my phone, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just... I came out here to make my name. I'm gonna lip sync this backwards. Parking space at Warner's. This is very hard to do. Wallpaper peeling. I don't have wallpaper, I have painted walls. It's a rental property. <laughs> Sex dressing. This is what he does. This is what he did with the Savoy. <laughs> Carrying on. I'm not going on the balcony. It's far too cold. And I have neighbours. And it's midnight. That's what I need you to know. Would have gone outside. <laughs> Worried about getting reported. Sunset Boulevard headline Boulevard. And if I'm honest, I like the lady. I can't help being touched by her folly. Watching her sunset. Watching her sunset. Well, I like that note. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. Since those brave gold rush pioneers. Brave gold rush. I always thought it was great. The, this whole time. The whole time. Been in those dreams where hidden dragons. That's another great lyric. The hidden dragons one. This is the bit where I walk forwards and you walk backwards. That way, that way. <laughs> Nailing it, nailing it, nailing it. 
Okay, we're back. You will have no idea how much planning that took, and I am now incredibly warm. Excuse me, where are we picking this up from? There's been a call. There's been a call. What did I say? You said they there's want been a call. To stop her but the way she's saying paramount there. Sorry, I've got a lot of adrenaline right now. How does the man do that? I wasn't even outside. There were no pedestrians. Every melody. Is there a single melody in the show that we don't hear in at least two places? The same fanfare that ended the first act. She checked with her astrologer. The word astrologer does not fit in that rhythm. So the whole second act sequence at the beginning here is just a big build up for this moment. She still knows that she isn't necessarily held in the same regard she once was. She doesn't re-enter this world with the same confidence that she addresses Joe with. But she's emboldened by this. Same fanfare. Because it's her dream fanfare, it's everything is going right. She got the call, she heard the fanfare. Waved into Paramount, she got the fanfare. We're hearing the music in her head. 30 million fans have given her the brush. Isn't that enough? That's kind of the first time we hear that put plainly and in black and white. It's your show. That's a very meta moment when he says it's your show. Dreamlike, very entering Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, pure imagination. But like I said, there's this nervousness to it too. But we're hearing a tease of With One Look and also a tease of New Ways to Dream. It's all these memories flooding back to her. It's Hawkeye. The superhero? Played by Jeremy Renner. This is where he puts a giant spotlight on her. It's incredibly bright. It's like a wind machine and everything. It's like a Beyonce concert. If Beyonce was a silent movie star, which I'll be honest, she would lose a lot of her appeal. From the song of her utter confidence and certainty comes this uncertainty. So much breath and that gap between frightened She's hesitant to even say it. I whisper of the sound. That was lovely. That was a bit Shirley Bassey. A bit Judy Garland as well. Why are these hallways so crowded? It's a famously very big place. Early morning, man. This just makes me want Linda Edda to play Norma Desmond. Have we considered that? It's a love song to cinema. Nothing means more to this woman. Joe is nothing compared to this. I think she did that all in one breath. The dynamic choices she is making. Do the soft little lean in. You're not even ready for this, and neither am I. Holding it, holding it, holding it. A full calendar week. No breath. The growl. That was very Liza. This song is fascinating, the way it peaks in the middle like that, and then it all pulls back so much. It means so much to her, she's overcome with emotion. And it takes her back to this very tender place. Everything's as if. That's a good tip. It's a good way to sing a vowel. Everything's as if. Hearing it again. Oh, shot. Lean into it. Open the vowel. It's an if. Yeah. You know what? That's a standing ovation. Hello. More jazz. Wow. It signals Betty's arrival. It's Betty's jazz. You said we'd work this woman together. cares too much about this script. You Get a hobby. Exactly the car. I've been looking More car plot. I told you it was coming. I love Joe sings in different styles wherever he goes, and Max is just Max. Something about her is getting through to Mr. DeMille. He has no intention of making this film, but his nostalgia is is getting to him. I love the way he says car. It's a car. Car. I quite like this melody. There's a simplicity to it. There's an honesty to it. It's neither grand nor romantic. There's no delusion to it. It's just fond. DeMille recognizes her for exactly what she is now. 
I genuinely can't remember what happens next. They will never buy it. Oh, I like this bit. To be completely honest, you sound like you really hate yourself. this also isn't a great marriage of when lyrics to melody, but it's... So cynical, I love that bit. Why? That's why I asked you You've been saying to this, this to him all show. She is trying to fix him, professionally and personally. This is where she looks down the barrel of the camera and sings to the audience. Audiences are much smarter. Smarter than we give them credit for. She puts the whole thing in this lovely place. It's been a very like head voicey soprano y ingenue role in the past. And she brings this slightly more robust quality to the vocal. Right after this, she did um, Eurydice in Hades Town and then went back into Sunset for its Broadway transfer. This all in her first year out of drama school, by the way. He's been bamboozled, rumbled, gazumped. Tell her it's a dentist. It's very dense. I think we all understand. We're hearing with one look under this, but sort of warped and distorted. Maybe it's because he's thinking back to the first day they met. There's a question really about how much of this is calculated by her, how much of it is her being manipulative, and how much of it is just her being manic. It's all card da -da -ba -da -da. I like how much dialogue we get on this. It's basically like listening to a musical audiobook. Ten years of dramatic lessons, diction, dancing. This sounds like a monologue from a chorus line. That is the saddest story I ever heard. <laughs> Not at all. You watched a chimp funeral like a month ago. Grandma did stunt work. It's what we call a nepo baby. Why have they stopped talking? Are they kissing? I would like to know if they're kissing. Say it. Say how you feel, Betty. Artie. Betty. Yes, I do. In, In love, love with him. him yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's it's not it. him, it's you. This whole show is about breakups. What, what happened? You did. <gasps> you did. You did, Joe. When I was a kid, Every woman in Hollywood I wants you. You with your good hair and your no money. This is the nice bit of the song. I haven't got a Full voice, lovely. I love that big note, just scooping up into a higher one. Gentle. Very gentle. The orchestration, reprising earlier melodies they've sung to each other. It's not an uncomplicated romance. That's gotta be the kiss moment, right? That musically sounds like a kiss. And this is just pure, unabashed romance. Because when they kiss, they're not thinking about anything else. She's not thinking about Artie and Tennessee. He's not thinking about crazy Nicole Scherzer and the gum that she's just bought. You know we should call it a day. I'm not trying to lip sync. I don't know these words. I can't control oh, I love that. That's so Disney Princess right there. This song would be very at home in Phantom of the Opera, wouldn't it? This is like All I Ask of You Part 2. That's all I ask. That's all I ask of you. There it is, I found it. <laughs> Lovely work. Wipe away tears. Finish your interval ice cream. Drink a half a glass of wine. We're building towards the end now. Please be careful when you cross the patio. Madame may be watching. What, is she a sniper now? I am greatly worried about her. Where has your worry been thus far, Max? You have walked her down this garden path. You have driven her down this garden path in her highly sought-after car. Here's the Max backstory. The Max story, if you will. D.W. Griffith. Are these real people? Cecil B. DeMille. That one is. From this never occurred to him. It's not just women, evidently, in this world that Hollywood has no regard for when they just go missing. How old was he when she was 17? Clearly falling in love with her personally and professionally. These are questions we ought not to ask. New ways to dream. Take a drink. He said it twice, that's two. This is what always intrigues me. The circumstances of their divorce. Because he stayed by her side. Drink. And again. What do you think is said more in this score? New Ways to Dream or Sunset Boulevard? Because he says it a lot, but only in that one song. What about Let's Do Lunch? How many of those did we have? He knows that it's it's Hollywood, basically, that has made and ruined her life, and he feels the weight of that responsibility. He made her a star. He made it impossible for her to be anything else. Very tense strings now. I'm considerably on edge. Hello. Hi. Oh, don't call the other woman. Don't be, you're better than that. You do know Mr. Gillis? We all know Mr. Gillis. He doesn't live with mother. 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 <laughs> I knew I was wearing this hat for a reason. Why don't you ask me? What's well, a mean girl situation? The address is 10,086. 
I see if I was Betty at this point, I I simply would not go. Don't hate me, Joe. I think hate is the prevailing emotion. Lots of concern, I'll be honest. How can I go back to work if I'm wasting away? I don't I don't know what to tell her at this point. Stop it's become it, very Dave. toxic. You are about to have company. This is not good. Say you don't hate go make a cheese ball or something. Drama. Oh, the percussion. This is my favorite orchestral moment in the entire thing. Yes. Oh. This bit. This bit. The power of this bit. Everything flooded in red as we hear the Sunset Boulevard melody. This is where we are. This is what's happened. We are too far down the rabbit hole now. Everything that comes is inevitable. I'm still very warm. Betty Why came. So scared. She sounded so weird. weird is not a kind I word, Betty. She's trying to reprise a romantic melody. There is no place for that here. That's Shall not how I we sing go? in this house. Have some pink champagne and caviar. Ooh, pink when champagne. Visit with a star, I love a pink a champagne. They did put out a cheese board. The bowling alley in the cellar. I didn't come to There's a bowling alley in the cellar. Right on the money. That's no my Desmond. That's no my Desmond. That's no my Desmond. That's no my Desmond. Why do you just I have fun. The world is full of this is one of his best Norma. moments in the show. The ensemble is used at this point to create cube. lots of Norma Desmonds. And everyone's just sprinting around everywhere madly. I believe all these things I never had. This is why his poverty, his lack of a car at the beginning, are such important motivators. I can't look at you anymore, Joe. I mean, that's fair. Theirs would have been a hungry, impoverished love. But it would have been love. It's implied in this version she doesn't go back to RT because when they kissed before, we saw him sadly removing his headset, uh, which is an indication in the Jamie Lloyd world of death and or the end of that person's story. I think that's what happened. I think that's what Betty's doing in this moment. And we're going to hear that theme for, I believe, the last time. The dying possibility of the love that could have been. Don't thank him yet. I can't remember what he's doing. You're not... Is he leaving? I, I leave. Yeah, leaving you is what I thought he was. I had an inkling. He's not bowling downstairs. That's what he's not doing. It's the first thing I'd have done. You know that meme where they're like, oh. I feel like you're just here for the zip line. That would have been me, but with the downstairs bowling alley. Sorry. Max. Where is Max when you need him? A little ritzy for the copy desk. Remember Back the gun. Remember she bought that gun. Remember she told you about it. You're a writer. You understand what Chekhov's gun means. No, Listen to that sinister tension. I That's not good music, Joe. And they'll never shoot that hopeless script of yours. Why you gotta hurt That's her like that? Why you gotta say something that they wounding? Hey, see, he's young and foolish. It's mad. Max and Rush DeMille better. avoided hurting her like your this. Audience. Nothing's wrong with being 40 unless you're acting 20. That lyric used to be 50. Good. Let the hate flow through you. I'm gonna have- this is like- I'm gonna get sleep paralysis nightmares tonight, Jesus. Oh, oh no, I'd, I'd kill him as well, that was- <laughs> sorry. Goodbye. I just saw red when he laughed like that. Gunshot, scream, death. Imagine me, oh, imagine me covered in blood right now. Should I just pour the rest of this water over myself? I don't want to do that, I'll be honest. She's reprising all these memories, these melodies. It's with this moment and with this betrayal, she knows that he's telling the truth. She knows he's not lying, but she can't grasp that. She can't bring herself to believe it. So it pushes her over the edge into total insanity. But she can't complete the phrase. Listen to the acting here. She kisses his mouth. That was a long note. She was like, I have one more belt in me in this show. Mama's still got a bit in the throat. The cameras have arrived. Ironic in this version, where there have been cameras on stage the entire time. What David Thaxton does with this moment on stage, he returns to being the director he once was. Directing this fantastical final appearance of hers. 
she's acting here. But of course it speaks to what's just happened as well. Once she's killed him, we're really just waiting for her to say the iconic line. The material is a bit overstretched here, but her delivery of it has such intensity. You're hooked on every single word. And we'd, st we'd stay there, we're in it with her the whole time. I think this is where Thaxton does like a silent scream. One of the most emotive, powerful moments of the whole thing. Again, David Thaxton, underrated performance. And we hear less of him on this cast recording, but I really enjoy his moments. Happy. This is so eerie. May I say a few words? The fragility. See, this has been played before as like, completely out of it. But there's such a sadness in her that she she knows. Her Norman knows on some level. Mr. DeMille. I'm ready for my close-up. That's the line. Back to With One Look. The first major song we heard from her. It ends a little differently this time. She's got one little sing in her left. into that. <laughs> Correct. Correct to applaud. Correct. Out of that moment of completely hushed ASMR fragility and vulnerability into the strength that she finds. This is all curtain call music. Just get to enjoy these orchestrations again. This orchestra, these strings. It's romantic, it's dramatic, it's cinematic everything I've been saying over and over again these past two hours. I'm just gonna clap the whole time. I hope you're clapping at home. And then into this. Oh, I should let my cast bow. Excuse me. Bow for the monkey. Yes. Very good. You both, you both did excellent work. Drama. And that's it. And that is it. Oh my gosh. That is so much cast recording. Wow. I have been pushing my earring slowly into my skull because uh, my ear's been squashing my headphones uh, these past two hours and I don't even care because that was an experience. Wow. Wow. You get a lot of the show on that cast recording because so much of it is sung through. That was a great listen. That's a great capture. It's a great live recording. And I'm glad because you get the intensity of those performances. And because of the nature of the way that it's been directed by Jamie Lloyd, it plays very well to that recording. It doesn't sound too big for a CD. It kind of sounds not dissimilar to how they would do it in a studio but it, it captures the scale of some of those bigger moments as well and the height of, of Nicole's performance because uh, Tom is a lot more subdued and really everyone else and it's Max and Norma who are the more theatrically voiced characters in this version. And we really get that. The performances come through brilliantly. The orchestrations, I said it so many times, sound gorgeous, sound wonderful. Those sweeping orchestral sections, almost as great as uh, the sung moments. There are still parts of the score I find a little bit fatiguing. It is not my favorite Lloyd Webber, but it has some really dynamic moments. Uh, and it feels cinematic and it feels noir and it feels of the era appropriately. And, you know, I gained more of an appreciation for how we move between different moods, how different characters are personified within the school, within the orchestrations uh, and within the different musical styles um, by listening to that. Um, so that made me like Sunset a little bit more. It made me very excited to hopefully go back and see the show again uh, very soon in New York. I fly to New York in a couple of days uh, and hopefully I will be seeing Sunset Boulevard, this production of Sunset Boulevard, once more. Maybe I will listen to that cast recording on the flight. But that has been my reaction. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have uh, already enjoyed the cast recording for yourself. If not, go and listen to it for yourself. Comment down below with your thoughts. Do you have a favorite track? Do you have a favorite moment? I really like that um, big orchestral dramatic moment towards the end of the second act, but also Nicole's With One Look is gonna get a lot of plays from me. Tom Francis's Sunset Boulevard is gonna get a lot of plays from me. Um, and a lot of his moments with Betty as well. 
there's a lot the whole opening sequence there there's a lot that i'm gonna very excitedly go back and listen to again and again and again but that has been my reaction video i hope that you have enjoyed make sure you're subscribed with the notifications turned on for all upcoming videos maybe i will continue talking about sunset boulevard while it continues to be on broadway the tony's conversation is looming in the distance uh but that i think has helped more than a little bit uh, if you haven't already go check out my sunset boulevard review go check out my roundup of the new york reviews uh, and i have nothing else left to plug so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day bye bye for 10 more seconds i'm mickey joe theater oh my god hey thanks for watching have a stagey day subscribe <laughs>